So let's do that. And see that. Okay, so that's down on my plate now. And I'm going to pick it up with something after I let it dry. I'm going to pick it up with this. Probably didn't let it dry enough. Yeah, I can see it just a little bit under there. Let's see what we get. Let's see what we get. While that's soaking, I'll show you the other one that I did. Different napkin, different print. You see? Look at it. there. If I can make that happen on purpose, wouldn't that be nice? That was from using this napkin. Alright, let's see if that picked anything up. Let's see what it picked up. Oh yeah, it picked up something. very light. There are better ways to do this. Mm, not so as you could actually use it. Alright, so Teresa asked me to go ahead and show you the other um, jelly prints I've made and so here these, these are the new stencils that I just got from um, Ice Stencils. So I made some with this, Create. This is where I tried to put it back in the same place and pull it on two. And this is where I added, picked it up on a different color. Then I also got, finally got one of Patty Tally Parish's. Uh, stencils of the um, let's see, it's upside down. Um, the hydro, hydro, what do you call it? Hieroglyphic things, markings. I, th I think those come out really nice. So that was fun to use on the jelly plate. Yes, I added it to this other one in the background. This stencil that I also got, Joan Smithy's stencil. This was just a pickup print. There was still a lot left on the plate. This is on one of the napkins with the the world. This is called the world stencil or something like that. I like that. These are um, a bunch of the leaves, the maple leaves that um, I pulled off my tree, sent some to Tanya and Lisa. So these were the original ones I was printing with and the ones I was printing with today. I like that one. That was where, where um, you use the leaves with paint on them as a stamp. Still needs some more, but I like it. Oh, 
don't know why that one got in there. No reason. More leaves. I like this one. I like where it shows the veins in it. This is where you take the silhouette of it and then you come back with a lot of paint on the leaves and you stamp into the silhouette part. I really love the way those come out. I think this is just picking it up after, I think this is a secondary print. I can't remember, this was the first time I deli plated with these, so I can't remember exactly how I got the designs. This one I know is the, like the strong silhouette is the first print, and then the blue stamping on top with the leaves is just that. It's not a print, it's just using, using the leaves on the plate to get the paint down on into these open spaces. I like that one. I think I did that one today. Oh, here's some more. Oh, here's leaves and here's the picking up the leaves from the plate with some little residual letters on the plate. I like that one quite a lot. I think that might be my favorite one. And these were with some contrasting colors. That's that light cadmium red. That pretty stuff. I like this one. This came out, the red on the green looks good on this. I like this. Came out looking kind of brownish. This was one of the ones I did with my wallpaper. Oh, I have the the dots stencil too from I stencils. That's my other new one. That's that. That's that. Um, kids made modern the Target paint. That bronzy color. These were some more from today. I have that other plate that's like this. This is like a 6 by 11, 5, and 5 by 11 size plate. And I think that makes a really nice plate, nice print. Well, here's some more that kids made modern brown. It's just their brown, but it looks like a bronze or dark copper or something. I love that one. Oh, and the background is wallpaper. I've got a piece, of, big piece of wallpaper. Here's just some of my, you know, you know what that is. Bubble wrap. Oh, this is, um, these are the napkin prints. So here's the one napkin print that it happened accidentally then I didn't have any more patterns for it. Can't focus on that really. So here is where it printed, where I took the pickup print on this. It's very indistinct. And here's where I tried to do it. I had this piece of napkin And a little bit, just a little bit, not a lot, not a lot. Nice pattern though. 
This was just a pickup print. I don't know how it got left in there. These are those things you get in the insurance billing with all the different languages on them for how to call for emergencies in 45 different languages. And I like to use um, those like to cut butterflies out of, stuff like that. To, um, so I print on all this stuff that I get and then cut things out of it. This is this one too. Just printing over that text paper. And this is a um, medical tape. I've got a couple layers on. And some drywall tape. This is a drywall tape. And this is just some medical tape. So I'll doodle and stamp on these and have my own little jelly tape. What do you call it? washi tape. And that is it. Many blessings. The world is your oyster. <laughs>